She's uh, been pretty busy here, pretty important, pretty popular, apparently. She's uh, Catherine Webb, who joins us here. Sports Illustrated swimsuit, former Miss Alabama. Take me back six weeks ago. Oh, man. If I said this was going to happen to you, what part of it would you not have believed? Um, you know, it's something that I never expected. I was literally just there watching AJ play, and um, I didn't know that it would blow up the same way that it has done. And so, uh, it I don't know. It's... It's a blessing and it's a curse at the same time. I've learned that you have to be really careful with um, putting your life out for the public to see because uh, it's automatically, you don't have any privacy at all almost. And no. so um, AJ has kind of been in the limelight for a little bit because he's a quarterback for Alabama. And so he's been teaching me how to how to handle the media and, and what mm. questions to answer, which ones to not. So I am in the hot seat today, apparently. <laughs> but, but go back to the game itself. When did you know you were on camera? When did you know that Brent Musburger was saying something about you? Um, you know, I didn't find out until afterwards. I had people uh, coming up to me during the game. I had a few friends that were sitting around me that were kind of letting me know what was happening, but I didn't really know what was really happening until um, someone that was sitting in the press box walked up to me afterwards and, uh, and was like, do you know what's happening right now? I said, I have no idea. And um, he was like, you are the star of the game. And I said, mm, clearly not because Alabama just won the national championship you know, two years in a row. So I, I wasn't expecting it to be that big of a deal. Um, so, uh, yeah, I made sure to go on the Today Show and really kind of draw the attention away from myself and uh, kind of give Alabama uh, football the credit. So. Did you consider not doing interviews? Um, you know, I, uh, now that I'm in the media and have a team working with me as far as like a publicist and a manager, I had none of that after the game. And so I had every single major media outlet calling me the next morning and i spent the whole ride 11 hours from miami to fairhope alabama um talking to people in the media and so and in the day i realized that i just needed to do one interview um and uh, so i chose the today show and and uh from doing the miss usa pageant uh donald trump kind of led me to do the today show as well so um so yeah so oh uh, I decided to just do that one. What about what Brent said when you finally realized what what was said and in the context that it was said? Um, of course, I didn't take offense to it. And it's kind of crazy for any woman to say that they would be offended or anything like that, because every girl wants to be told that they're pretty and that they're beautiful. And I don't think of I can't think of one girl that wants to be say, told well, you know, she's okay. She's not like gorgeous. Uh, so, of course, I didn't take any offense to it. And, you know. What did your dad say? Oh, afterwards, my parents were just dumbfounded at how um, everything was blowing up and my Twitter was going crazy. And, um, and so, yeah, they were just so excited for me. Uh, Catherine Webb is joining us in studio. Her boyfriend is... Uh AJ McCarron, quarterback to uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide. You engaged? I, you know, oh, no. You're not. <laughs> no. You're not engaged. No. Uh, I was in New Orleans for the Super Bowl, and I was working for Inside Edition. And so I had done a segment with Emeril Lagasse in his restaurant. And uh, he had invited um, me and AJ back to have dinner one night um, because we had connected so well and made such good friends. And and so, um, so we ended up going, and Martha Stewart was at the table right next to us. And uh, I think maybe she had had a couple to drink. A couple of drinks, okay. <laughs> yeah, a couple All of right. drinks. Right. Or maybe she had misheard information about me and AJ, but no, we're not engaged. So, yeah, not yet, at least. Okay. All right, fair enough. Mm -hmm. How's he dealing with you being more popular outside of the state of Alabama. Oh, he can be more supportive and proud. And um, but who, is he still more popular than you in the state of Alabama? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, he he's been the quarterback for Alabama. Uh, he registered his first year, but he's been uh, 
starting for the past um, two or three years. And so everyone knows who he is. Everywhere we go, everyone's asking to take a picture with him and, and f ask for his autograph. And everyone loves him. And so... What about these Bama bangs, though? Can you help me with that, Catherine, that every kid in Alabama, the Roll Tide, has Bama bangs? Bama bangs? Yeah, we... Oh, you John mean Parker the... Wilson, remember those those Bama bangs? Why? I like to refer them as Bieber Bieber bangs because yeah. Bieber kind of trademarked that uh, hairstyle. But um, Bama had it before Bieber did. That could be true. Roll Tide. I mean, I grew up. <laughs> no, no matter what you say, you just end up end it with Roll Tide or War Eagle. That's right. Right. Um, Try it. Just just show people how it works. Since you went to Auburn, if we were just talking, and I was saying, uh, uh, what are you going to do for lunch today? What am I going to do for lunch today? What are you going to do for lunch today? I'm no, asking you. No, then you have to, oh, I, you know, I don't know. Probably go to Buffalo Wild Wings, have some uh, beer and, uh, and, and wings there, uh, War Eagle. Right? That's how it works, right? That's right. Alabama does mm -hmm. the same thing, but they say Roll Tide. I know. Yeah. I, but do you, does uh, your boyfriend have Bama Bangs? He does not. He used to. <laughs> did you make him change? <laughs> no, I didn't know him before then. Oh, you did. <laughs> if he, he had, had the Bama bangs, <laughs> would you go out with him? Yeah. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I those would. Those Bama bangs? Those are bad. No, they're not. Not, not on everyone. McLovin is trying to do Bama bangs <laughs> in the back there. How does that? How does that look, Kathy? <laughs> It's a good effort. It is. A, and you just spit on your hand and you made it stick to your forehead. That's a really good effort, though. Is that not cool? To... <laughs> I hired some creepy guys in the back, just so you know. Uh, McLevin and Fritzy. Uh, did Fritzy hug you? Uh, Fritzy's in the back, right? Fritzy I was did... very well behaved. He you was were... very well behaved, okay, actually. Well, they were he told, just shook my hand. They were told no hugs. Why? Because. Is he creepy? Oh, okay. Barry? Fritzy, uh, why don't you come over, give Catherine a hug. Okay. It has to be a side hug, though. A side hug? A side hug. What do you mean? Well, it's, he's not going to... That's the more friendly hug. Well, I, it's just a Fritzy hug, Catherine. I can't help how it... Oh, you know, oh. Can, you, can, you, can you stand up and just... Yes, I will stand up. It's like, yeah, Paulie. Uh, Nick Saban just called and he says, I did not approve of this. Oh, he does not? Oh, go. see? Now, go. did you... Did go. you moan? Do the okay. Did they make any sounds or noises or anything? No. See, he did that with um, Brooklyn Decker. Oh, really? Yeah, and her dad got upset. Oh, no. But this is all he lives for. Look at him. He's a sad man. <laughs> I think he's kind of blushing a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his cheeks. They're kind of red. I know. Well, by the way, we got he's Bama red right now, I think, is what he is. That's uh, right. <laughs> uh, we, we do have a statement. Brent Musburger did uh, send a, a text last night because we're going to have him on today. Oh, yeah. Just so he could just say so. Have you talked to Brent? I haven't, but it was so funny because probably like two weeks ago, West Virginia had a basketball game and, and uh, Brent Musburger was there and he was doing the reporting. And so uh, some of these students had a huge cardboard uh, blown up heads of, of me and him. And so they had <laughs> tweeted me a picture. So they had tweeted me a picture. And... Brent was uh, playing along, and so he decided to take a picture with us, uh, or yeah, with the two heads and these students. And so um, I'll have to show you a picture later. You should but... call Brent. You should call me. I'm well, just kidding. I mean, no, he... I probably, you know, Fritchie actually, can give you his I should number. probably call him and tell him thank you yeah. for the compliments and and uh, and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, he made dreams come true. He did. Yeah, he did. Actually, AJ and Brent are really good friends, and he had went up to AJ uh, before the game and asked if we were going to be there, and uh, and so he told AJ that they might uh, show us on television. So I had no idea before um, before that, and then three weeks after that happened, AJ finally told me that's that's what he did. Oh so wow! I was like, what? All right, Why are you just now telling me this? Here's, uh, Brent uh, said, uh, wish Miss Webb the best. Uh, she's doing great. And tell her I'm going to play the number 10 in the lottery this week. Did he really say that? Yeah, that's from Brent Musburger right there. Okay, yeah. for the record. Yeah, to, for the record. To Brent Musburger, yeah. thank you. Wait, I'm not everything. taking dictation here. Well, I might as well go on the record. Okay, and this tell is him, your thank statement. You. Okay, this is your my statement. statement. Okay, to fair. Brent Musburger, thank mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. for everything you've done mm -hmm. and for helping my career and helping uh, helping me 
make a new life for myself. Because <laughs> I was in Los Angeles and I was already modeling before. And so all of this stuff that I'm doing is no strange thing to me. And, um, and so I was, I was actually having a hard time in Los Angeles uh, booking jobs. And so um, I was already with an agency. And after all this happened, um, people started calling. And now I'm finally able to make some money and help out my family and myself. Um, my plan is still to move back to home to Alabama um, and then just work every once in a while. But, uh, but yeah, so. And get engaged, too. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but you're not engaged. No. No. According to Martha Stewart. Uh, War Eagle. <laughs> a roll tide. A roll tide, yeah. AJ, get on to me. I have to say roll tide Okay, now, now am I supposed to get something for AJ for a restaurant? Yeah. Um, he has a good friend. Uh, his name is Jeff. He... Um, he has a bar in Tuscaloosa named uh, Galette's, and so I have a special request to get an autograph okay. for Galette's in Tuscaloosa. Okay, all right. I think we can take care of that. Great. Hopefully. Uh, congrats on the uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, everything else. Thank you. Thank you so much. Been a good sport, good sense of humor with it, and uh, I'm glad you took it the way you did with Brent. Because Thank you. Because having known him for almost 30 years, he did not mean any harm with not it. Not at all. Yeah, no. In he, my opinion. Uh, AJ tells me he's a very, very nice man. So. Well, good luck. I know it's a busy day for you. And, thank you. Uh, thank, thank, thank you, you for so stopping much. by. Catherine Webb, uh, we'll come back with your phone calls. Uh, Steve Kerr coming up next hour. This is The Dan Patrick Show.